is the highest two-week box office that our industry has seen since February 2020, 20 months ago. That's good news for us. It feels to us that we're on the way back. But the question is, where do we go from here? Yeah. We have absolutely no intention of just bringing back the company that existed in 2019. Because we raised so much money, our shareholders have armed us with what was, at the end of the second quarter, a $2 billion cash war chest, a cash and liquidity war chest, to go out and transform our company. And we have several big ideas that we're working From on right now. From what to what? Give us a, uh, we heard about football games. I'm a Charger fan, I live out, I can never watch the games. Can I go to an AMC theater soon and watch the Chargers play Tyler's Washington football team? You can, at some of our theaters, watch some NFL games each week. We are in discussions with the NFL right now to broaden our rights so that we can show all the games that we want to show as opposed to some of the games. But where are you in these negotiations? Can you give us a little hint? Early. We're early. showing we're showing we're showing NFL games. But you're games. talking. We're showing NFL games right now, but we're early in our discussions with the NFL about broadening those rights. But we've talked about professional sporting events. We're so we're showing some UFC events and some WWE events and some professional boxing events. We're showing the Metropolitan Opera. We have something for everybody. Uh, we're showing uh, concerts now. Yeah. And we're talking to some of the largest movie music companies in the country about expanding our concert offers. But that's just the beginning because what that's doing is still expanding our theater business. Yeah. I think that there are other businesses in, related to what we do now, related to our expertise, that are entirely different from what we do. Uh, yeah. we've, we've made a lot of noise in the last few months about getting hyperactive in cryptocurrency. And there are a lot of reasons why AMC uh, could be a successful issuer of cryptocurrency as well as a redeemer of cryptocurrency. And that's just one wow. of the half a dozen ideas that we're working on right With now. Your, I know Tyler wants to jump in and maybe talk about that war chest a bit. Tyler. No, that's very interesting ideas there, Adam. It's nice to see you again. Um, the question is that for right now, and, and at least for the short-term immediate future, the core of your business is going to be showing movies. Is Hollywood uh, and the global film business supplying you with enough movies that people will come to pay and see? Well, again, on the premise of your question, the good news for us, I think we're just weeks away from announcing a new uh, business line for our company that is not running movie theaters as you traditionally know them. But we'll sit, I'll come on CNBC to talk about that when it's time to talk about Anytime. that. Anytime. We'll love it. Hollywood, really, thank you, Tyler. I've known you and Kelly a long time. Brian, too. Uh, you know, I used to run Vail 20 years ago, and some of you guys used to ski out there. Uh, but in terms of his <laughs> Hollywood releasing movies, uh, for a long time they didn't. And one of our problems was the pandemic. But another of our problems was we just didn't have new titles to play. The analogy we've used is we're in the new car business. There are no new cars in the showroom. Right. Hard to sell new cars. But finally, 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 movies are coming out. Uh, Disney released a whole bunch of big movies recently. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, uh, Black Widow and uh, Jungle Cruise and Chang chi Eternals is coming in a couple of weeks, which the advanced bookings for Eternals are fabulous. Uh, Sony gave us Venom. Uh, MGM just gave us No Time to Die. And there is a flood of big movies coming between now and Christmas. I saw the new Ghostbusters sequel called Ghostbusters Afterlife. It is a fabulous movie. Uh, the new Spider-Man release yeah. that's coming out at Christmas is going to be a very big movie. So finally, it took us a long time to get here, but finally Hollywood yeah. is giving us product. And, you know, we, 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 are, we are now seeing millions and millions of moviegoers at our theaters every week. It's great to see. And maybe I'll be able to pay and even convert cryptocurrency at an AMC. It sounds like that's part of the plan. We have said that watch, we're going to Watch my chargers. Yep. We've said we're going to yep. we're going to accept before year end. We will accept Bitcoin, uh, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, all by year, uh, all, all by right now for AMC gift cards. Yeah. By year end for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, well, I think we'll be able to take Dogecoin in Q1. So again, big changes. We're, we're 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 entering the 21st century in a big way. Wow, we'll change the seat to crypto and AMC. Adam Aaron, thank you for coming on. Really appreciate your time. I've got to run now. Have a great conference. We'll see you at the movies. 
See you at the movies. Adam, thank you. Tyler and Kelly, thank Bye. you. Brian, thank you. Adam, great to see you again. Adam's actually a very good skier, I should say. <laughs> Happen to know. He's certainly showing the way that he can play these. You know, he's, <laughs> he can slalom with the best of them. It's been fascinating to watch his career here.